In today's video, I'm going to explain to you how to create free Reddit videos using only the CapCut online video editor and how you can earn these amounts of money with it. I will explain everything to you step by step from creating viral scripts, a free voiceover, and making beautiful captions and how to ensure you go viral right away. Let's get started. First, let's get into the basics of Reddit videos. Reddit videos are basically stories shared by users on the Reddit app and they get spread around on social media. In these videos, you often see gameplay going on in the background like Minecraft, Subway Surfers, and GTA 5, but Minecraft is the one you'll see most. People share these Reddit videos on platforms like YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok. I did some digging for you all in every Reddit niche and discovered that creepypasta stories garner a lot of views. So I'm going to show you how to create similar Reddit videos for free using the CapCut Online Video Editor. I've dropped a link in the description below so you can follow along. Alright, Reddit videos have six main parts a comment frame, a story from a Reddit community, gameplay footage, a voiceover, captions, and some cool Dreamcore music in the background. First off, we're gonna start by making the frame for the Reddit comments. I whipped this up for you guys in Photoshop because I couldn't find it anywhere online. So you guys don't have to worry about this part. You can grab the blank frame from my description down below. Now, once you have that downloaded, let's jump right into how you can customize it to fit your content and make your content pop. Follow along with me step by step. And in the end of the video, you will see the example I created and how you can monetize this videos. So let's start by debunking a myth about Reddit stories. You might assume that all those popular Reddit stories come directly from Reddit itself, right? Well, think again. After some in-depth research, I discovered that many of those so-called Reddit creepypasta stories are actually sourced from a website named creepypasta.com, not directly from Reddit. This site is loaded with creepy stories and mysterious occurrences, and some of these stories can have durations of over 15 minutes. What we're going to do is search through the recent top-rated stories on this site. Once you've found a top-rated story, we're going to spice it up for our video. How? by transforming the story into a first-person perspective using ChatGPT. Just ask ChatGPT to rewrite the story from a first-person viewpoint, making it appear as if it's a personal experience. This approach makes the story much more interesting and enjoyable for viewers. Once you've finished tweaking the script, you'll then look for gameplay backgrounds. You can do this by searching on YouTube for no copyright background gameplay footage. However, to make things even easier for you, I've created a Google Drive folder where you can find parkour clips from Minecraft. You can simply download these. I've left a link for you in the description. Next, move on to the CapCut online video editor. Add the blank template and the Minecraft gameplay footage. Then create a text box where you'll place the title of the story from creepypasta.com. So copy it from the story and use it for the Reddit post frame. I keep the text in the default font because I think it fits well with the Reddit post. To make a voiceover, start by creating a text box. Then copy a short part of the story from ChatGPT. This step is needed because the text-to-speech tool can only work with a set amount of text at one time. Paste in the text, and after you've done that for the first section of the story, use the text-to-speech option on the left of the screen to make a voiceover. I've tested all the voices for you and found that the male scientist voice is the best match for Reddit stories. Repeat this for every part of your text. Now let's move on to exporting your video. Ensure that all your settings are correctly adjusted. I set the resolution to 1080p, the quality settings to high quality, and the frame rate to 60 FPS. Rename the video as you wish and then hit export. Next, we'll be adding captions to the video. While you can use the online desktop version of CapCut to auto-generate captions, I've noticed that it doesn't offer a wide variety of templates, so I recommend using the CapCut app for this step. Once you've opened the CapCut app, add your exported video. After that, click on Text, followed by Auto Captions. You'll notice that there are several templates available, including free ones, which allow you to create captions in various styles. I personally prefer this particular style, which displays the captions word by word on the screen. Click Start, and the captions will be generated automatically. Your next task with the captions is to position them at the center of your screen. I prefer to enlarge the text slightly for better visibility. Once you've made these adjustments, export the video again, ensuring the frame rate is set to 60 and the code rate is on high. And there you have it. Your video now has captions. Next, let's talk about the music. Most Reddit stories use a specific type of music called Dreamcore. I've found some tracks on TikTok that fit this style and I've listed them in the description. A popular choice is Undertale OST, Fallen Down, but it's often slowed down with added reverb. 
You can download this song using any YouTube to MP3 converter online. Once you have the MP3, go back to the CapCut Online video editor and upload both the video and the MP3. For the right background music volume, make sure the music is between minus 15 and minus 20 decibels. This level is just right for background music. I've looked at a lot of Reddit videos and many look very similar. So we're going to make our standout by adding images. Click on photos on the left side to access a variety of images. Since you've already added the captions, it's now easier to match images to the text. For example, for the word reading, use a picture of someone on their phone. Do this for each line or specific word and you're done with this step. Once you export the video, it's ready to upload. Here's a quick look at the video I made. Alien abductions are real and they are worser than you think. Most of you reading this account won't believe my story. Hell. I wouldn't believe it if I hadn't lived through the horror. I didn't use the Dreamcore music because of copyright issues, so I added a different track instead. This is the end of my video. Follow for part two. You'll notice that I mentioned making a part two and ask viewers to follow me. This is a great way to quickly gain followers because people are curious about part two. With the long stories on creepypasta.com, it's easy to do this. You can split these stories into three parts easily, giving you content for three days. Next, we're going to upload this video to TikTok. Here's how you do it. Pick a recommended song and make sure its volume is set to 1% so you can't hear it. This helps your video get more attention. Also, title your video as part one and in the description, tell viewers to follow you for part two. Don't forget to add three related hashtags. This approach not only keeps your content interesting, but also builds excitement for your next video. Your audience will stay engaged, looking forward to more. With so many stories available on creepypasta.com, you'll never be short of material. So go ahead, start creating, and good luck with your videos. People are making a lot with TikTok's new creativity program. I'm planning to create more tutorials for you all. Don't get left behind and make use of the CapCut online video editor via the link in my description.